two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve half a dozen. It's, it's touchdown. That's okay. It's all right. I don't have any special props up here this morning. You notice? I don't have anything but my iPad. So does that mean we're not going to do something? No, we're going to do something. First of all, I want to tell y'all that, that, that the preacher loves you. I love every one of you. You're special to me. And without you, without the little ones in the church, it'd be awfully boring. But y'all make it happy around here. And I appreciate all the little ones, and I love you. So what I want to do today is I just want to tell you a story. And this is the most important story you will ever hear. And you say, well, preacher, I've heard lots of good stories. I have too. But I want to tell you a story about a special man. And our, our music, your story will scare you. Oh, well, it's not going to scare you. <laughs> now you got, I lost my train of thought there. <laughs> These kids, y'all just have to be up here and see what I'm seeing right now to understand. <laughs> We're talking about a man named Jesus. And you know that little, that little man named Jesus, he came as a little baby in a manger, and he grew up from this age to this age to this age to this age up to the oldest. And when this uh, baby was born in a manger in Bethlehem, he was born in a barn. Can you imagine being born in a barn? You all probably all of you were born at home or in the hospital or somewhere nice and warm and cozy. But baby Jesus was born in a manger. You say, well, this is Easter, preacher. Why are you telling us the Christmas story? Because it all goes together. So Jesus was born in a manger. Did you know he lived without ever telling a lie, without ever doing anything wrong, without ever hitting his brother or sister, without ever poking his, his cousin or, or messing with him and hurting him or anything, never got mad at nobody? Did you all ever get angry with anybody? Did you ever get mad? At, come on now, be honest. And raise your hand if you get mad. Yeah, see, we all get mad. Jesus never done that. Only time he ever got angry was when he got mad at sin. Well, he grew up perfect, and then it come the day when Jesus, because he so loved the world, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. He loved you, and he loved you, and he loved you, and he loved you, and he loved you. Did you know Jesus loves you? Yes, he does, doesn't he? Listen, he loved you enough that he would go to a, to a cross and be crucified on the cross. You know what that means? Who knows what Christmas, crucifixion means? It means that you do? Yeah, that's right. They, they uh, nailed Jesus to a cross. Now, that's pretty scary, isn't it, that they nailed Jesus to a cross? And they nailed him to a cross, and then he died there on the cross. And what did he say when he, di when he died on the cross? What did he say? Anybody remember? It is finished. Only I'm not going to yell so loud that I scare all of you off like a like you. But he said it's finished. And when he said it's finished, it means that he paid our sin debt and made it possible for us to go to heaven with him because he paid our sin debt. Then guess what happened three days after, after they took him from the cross? What happened after they took him from the cross? They put him in a tomb, right? And then he what? He arose. That's right. And that's what this Sunday is all about, is about the resurrection of Jesus. Not his death, not his birth, but his resurrection. Now you know, who knows where Jesus is at today? In heaven. It's in heaven, that's right. At the right hand of the Father. But he's also in my heart. And if you're saved, he's in your heart. And if you're not saved, then you can ask him to come into your heart, and guess what? He will. He said, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. For whosoever calls on Jesus it will come into your heart. Father, we thank you, Lord, for these young folks. God, I pray that you bless them. Lord, how we love them. Lord, how we cherish them. I pray, God, you bless them. Keep them safe. And God, I pray if they're not saved, that when they come to the age of accountability, God, you'd save them by your grace. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let's give these young ones another big hand. All right. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. If you, you, I